Hello and welcome once again to Supply Chain Central, your one-stop destination for the freshest insights and trends in the universe of supply chain management. In this episode, we will uncover the layers of the high-stakes struggle between the United States and China over semiconductor dominance. This technological tug-of-war is reshaping global supply chains and impacting consumer electronic and countless businesses worldwide. Without further ado, let's dive right in. The roots of this tech duel between the U.S. and China lie deep within their long-standing technological rivalry. Let's rewind back to October 2022, when the U.S. deployed export control bans, delivering a heavy blow to Chinese companies such as Yangtze Memory Technologies Corp., Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corporation, and High Silicon. Notably, chip manufacturers from nations allied with the U.S. also joined in this unofficial technology blockade against Chinese firms, intending to stunt China's advancements and fracture its semiconductor supply chain. Unsurprisingly, China responded with a calculated counterstrike. American giant Micron Technologies, the leading U.S. memory chipmaker, was barred from selling to critical national infrastructure operators within China. This action, seemingly propelled by security considerations and apprehensions about Micron's products, coincided with the G7 summit in Hiroshima, where the rising threat from China was a prominent talking point. The American export ban sparked an urgency within China to boost its domestic chip production capacity. To accomplish this, Chinese policymakers greenlit a hefty $1.9 billion investment into Yangtze Memory Technologies Core, YMTC, their premier memory chip maker. This infusion of funds is anticipated to help YMTC recover from the export ban's fallout and heighten its competitive edge. China's strategic maneuvering continues. By sidelining foreign firms like Micron, they've carved out a playground for domestic heavyweights to dominate the memory chip sector. Although the ban on Micron bruises American interests, it's unlikely to critically wound China since most of Micron's clientele comprises consumer electronics firms based in China. Here we see how these geopolitical decisions can directly affect businesses and consumers, potentially leading to increased electronics prices or hampering the availability of tech products. Fast forward to 2023 and let's unravel the latest twists in the U.S.-China chip saga. China has escalated its retaliatory actions against the U.S. by tightening restrictions on Micron technologies, a move driven by security fears and reservations around Micron's products. With a relatively modest footprint in the global semiconductor industry, China is focused on fortifying its domestic chip production capabilities. The current domestic production only contributes a small slice of the global semiconductor pie. Still, China strives to change this narrative through aggressive local localization of memory chip production. The tremors of this tech war ripple far beyond the U.S. and China's borders. Global supply chains are in flux as the U.S.'s strict chip sales embargo on China and technology export controls sow unpredictability in a sector heavily reliant on international supply chains. In response to these challenges, nations worldwide are ramping up their domestic chip production capabilities. The U.S., for instance, has pledged $52 billion via the Chips and Science Act to stimulate homegrown semi conductor manufacturing. Taiwan, Japan, South Korea, and others are also extending subsidies and tax incentives to lure chip makers. The U.S.'s widened controls on exporting advanced chips and technologies to China have muddled the waters around enforcement and compliance. The industry grapples with defining advance and interpreting the new regulations. Some companies might attempt to find loopholes to sidestep these rules, potentially eroding their intended effect. Let's now delve deeper into some possible future scenarios. Some experts speculate the U.S might intensify restrictions, even eyeing related fields like quantum computing. Others believe that the chosen path might be maintaining the status quo on current restrictions. Although restrained so far, China could exercise its control over rare earth materials as leverage, potentially shaking up global supply chains even further. These outcomes could reshape the business landscape, altering how companies source components, price their products, and serve customers. The private sector is learning to dance to the tune of the U.S.-China chip war, adjusting to new restrictions and preparing for potential policy shifts. Companies are rethinking sourcing strategies, striking partnerships, and diversifying supply chains to minimize Asian manufacturers' dependence. The ongoing chip conflict might trigger a global chip shortage in 2023, fueled by geopolitical tensions and restrictive policies. However, predicting the impact's exact magnitude, duration, and severity remains complex. It will depend on policy enforcement, corporate resilience, and the key industry players' strategic moves. The ripple effects could reach consumers, potentially driving up prices or leading to shortages of popular electronics. And there we have it, a comprehensive breakdown of the U.S.-China chip war. This relentless quest for semiconductor supremacy is reshaping global supply chains and impacting business 
businesses and consumers worldwide. For more updates and insights on supply chain management and how it influences the technology we use daily, keep it locked on Supply Chain Central. We appreciate your time and look forward to welcoming you back for our next episode. Until then, take care and stay informed.